Hey everybody, it's me, Mia Fran again. Welcome back to my channel and to day number nine of the 12 days of anime. So for today, I thought I would talk about my top five uh, current favorite Lucifer cards in Obey Me. Since Lucifer won the Hezbondo bracket, I thought it was only fitting to talk about some of my favorite cards in the game of Lucifer and why I like them and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. I picked like top five because I thought it was you know pretty easy number to deal with and you know that way I don't have to make such a super long video. So this is in no particular order. Now this contains SR SSRs and URs so um, it's a, a mix of you know ultra rare cards and super super rare cards. So, uh, the first one that we're going to take a look at here, um, or that I'm going to take a look at, the Insomnious Lucifer card. Specifically, this is the deflowered or unlocked uh, Lucifer card. So, this is what the card looks like when you um, get all four stars unlocked in the card, which means you get it, like, max level. And so, um, it's the equivalent of idolizing a card in Obey Me like it would be in Shining Live. Uh, for example, or um, the equivalent of evolving a card in Mr. Love, for example, uh, compared to Obey Me. So, um, yeah, the, you. Uh, a lot of people say it's deflowered uh, when you, like, unlock the card. It's, it's really just unlocked. Um, but I really like this card because it's, I mean, it's like Sleepy Lucifer, like... He's, or, you know, he's having insomnia, but I mean, there's, he just looks so, so attractive and sexy, just, you know, lying down here on the bed. I love, like, the pajamas, like, half open, or if it's like a, I can't, I don't know if it's his pajamas or, like, it's a robe. It's pretty loose, so it might be just a robe, but I like that he just, his hair's kind of messy. He's got, like, one eye open, like, you know trying to see what's disturbing him. Maybe he just started falling asleep and like a noise just kind of woke him back up or he's trying to, you know, get some good sleep. And he just, I want to, I want to cuddle him in this state. And I like that you get to see, um, his bare hands because Lucifer wears gloves all the time. So, you know, it's kind of, it's a little bit rare to see him without gloves on. So I like that you can see his, his hands. I'm sure they're very, very soft, um, as well as this bed. And these pajamas look, you know, like silk pajamas. And of course, you get a little peek at his, you know, collarbone, his shoulder, and his uh, chest. So it's it's a very nice card. I quite thoroughly enjoy looking at it. So next up, again, in no particular order, uh, we've got the Wolf Lucifer UR from the um, Paws and Claws event. So this uh, is called the Full Moon. And this is also the idolized version, uh, not idolized, uh, deflowered version, unlocked version, um, of the card. So, as you can see, I mean, he's a wolf boy. You guys know I love my wolf boys. For some reason, it's just how it works out. A lot of my favorites tend to be drawn or, like, paired up with wolves. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. <laughs> some of the time. And I, I just really loved, I loved this event. I thought it was a lot of fun. I love that everybody got their own animal. Um, I'm trying to still get this card. Because uh, this is one of the cards you can get just by combining pieces um, at the end of the event. So it's one of the cards that you just combine pieces and it creates a card. Um, I Again, I mentioned this before. I do love in Obey Me that you can redo events. So if... Uh, you don't get the card that you want, you know, from the combined pieces. Maybe you just didn't get enough pieces yet. Um, maybe you're stuck on part one or part two. Or maybe, like, uh, you're really close to finishing part three, but the event just ended. Um, you can, uh, you, know, you don't have to wait too long to revisit the event. Because um, the event comes back. And you can do it however many times you need to. You can start off from where you left off, so that we don't have to start from the very beginning. So, you know, if you're super, super close, you know, you can definitely focus on, you know, getting all those card pieces for the, the UR at the end of the event. So that's what I really love about Obey Me. And again, this card, I mean, look at, look at him. He's just like... I loved that in the event, it kind of enhanced their senses. They kind of took on more animalistic traits and tendencies. It was super, super fun. Um, again, I loved seeing uh 
you know, Lucifer get very, like, possessive of you. Because, you know, he's a, he's a dominant wolf. And he's got a floofy tail. I want to pet it. You know, pet his little floofy ears. And just tell him that he is a good boy. Now, next up, we've got probably a lot of people's uh, favorite, favorite uh, Lucifer cards. Well, again, one of my favorites. Um, this is the uh, Lucifer and Mr. Rabbit. Uh, UR Plus. So, um, Lucifer and Memo were the first to get the UR Plus cards. Now, the UR Plus cards are cards that when you play them in battle... They have a, an animation that plays. Um, and with Lucifer's, we got this lovely, lovely gif. One of my favorite gifs on the internet of all time. I absolutely love it so much. So, so cute. Uh, again, this is the unlocked or deflowered version of the card. So Lucifer's got his uh, bunny ears. He's got his, uh, his signature gloves, of course pouring a drink and uh, uh, as you saw again it's gonna be an excuse to play this gif as you saw or see there in that gif he's got a bunny tail and you know he's just you know kind of being real sexy with the with the bunny motif and I just I absolutely love it it's so great now next up is uh, his birthday SSR now I picked the birthday SSR instead of the uh, birthday you are because I really love um, just what this picture uh, symbolizes and represents. Because um, this, this card is called Presents for Lucifer. This is the present that you get for him for his birthday. Now, you do go shopping together. And uh, you basically buy matching necklaces for you and Lucifer. So, um, the his necklace is in this box. And he eventually opens it for, for his birthday. And you have, like, matching necklaces. It's a super cute uh, Devil Graham story. And, of course, I like this card because he's blushing. He looks really cute. You know, Bl Lucifer... You know, if you, once once you really start to get to know him in the game, he again becomes more vulnerable towards you, and he's willing to kind of like blush in front of you, get a little you know frazzled when you you know do certain things. Um, and I just I really like that they show him blushing here in this card, just from you know you giving him a birthday present. So I, I it's just it's so cute. Like he's just absolutely adorably cute in this picture. And, and speaking of adorably cute, um, this last card is the You, Me, and Devil Co Devil's Coast um, card. The UR card. This is the uh, theme park card. Amusement park card. I will link the video uh, up in the little corner here of when I got this card. Um, and I absolutely love this. is the uh, uh, This is not the unlocked version. This is the what it regularly looks like. And I think I like this picture better than the unlocked or deflowered version of the um card i like this one better just because one he's got that like little embarrassed look on his face he's got the little kitty ears which he didn't want to really put on but you kind of force him to do anyway and then he also has you know his the little stuffed animal so cute i also like that he's dressed very casually you know casually for you know going to the amusement park he's got a t-shirt on and like a flannel over it and he doesn't he's not wearing his gloves so again you get to see his you know wonderfully bare uh hands now i know it's probably like are his nails like painted or does his nails look like that um all the boys have paint their nails so lucifer paints his red um well actually asmo paints everybody's nails or at least he paints lucifer's nails i know for sure like that's confirmed um but yes yeah, so all the brothers paint their nails a different color um lucifer's is red and you know, his hands look very soft again in this this picture and I just love that he kind of gives in to putting the little like kitty ears on you know it's like Mickey ears or something you know, Disney equivalent you know of going to a theme park and I just I think it's really cute and I just like the idea of spending a day at the amusement park with Lucifer like going on rides and walking around eating you know some snacks like popcorn or you know, drinking a, a a cold beverage while you walk around, um, you know, holding hands, being really cute. You just make like a day out of it, make it a good date. And I just really enjoy 
I just really enjoy how he looks here. He just looks so, like, done with everything, but it's like, no, you know you're having fun, Lucifer. You know, just kind of, like, relax. Live a little. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are my top five, at least for now, favorite Lucifer cards in Obey Me. So thank you guys so much for watching. It really, Obey Me has taken over my entire life um, in terms of what I normally play all the time and what I'm, like, super into right now in terms of, like, fan fiction reading, um, uh, f looking at, you know, really good fan art on Twitter, um, retweeting a lot of really good fan art on Twitter, <laughs> and watching other people play the game, do, you know, s pull or summons, um, and of course talking to my good friends about it as well. So, you know, if you haven't played the game yet, I highly recommend you play. It's super fun, super fun gacha game. You get um, lots of really fun characters to uh, learn about, explore, uh, you know, um, grow a bond with. So, highly recommend it. One of the best gacha games that did come out uh, within the last year. I know it technically came out in 2019, but it was more prominent in 2020. And the Japanese version of the game just launched Uh you know, a few days ago, or at least last week. Um, so, you know, it's definitely still ever present in uh, 2020 for sure. Definitely got me through a lot these uh, months in quarantine. So I highly recommend you play it if you like Shining Live, if you like Mr. Love, uh, if you like A3, if you like games like Twisted Wonderland, uh, other, you know, gacha games with pretty uh, anime 2D boys in it. Highly recommend obey me so again thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it um you know hit the like button share subscribe if you already haven't all my links are in the description below and this was day number nine of the 12 days of anime 2020 so tomorrow we will see you again have fun stay safe uh, again we'll see you in the next video tomorrow bye